Hey guys, so I got a, a oxygen regulator that started spitting out a bunch of air. This side had all the pressure of the uh, tank, of course, but then this guy shot up way up here. So there's a small little pin of sorts that has a little rubber washer in it that tends to go out on these. And so uh, I'm going to try and see about opening it up. So first it would be to take these gauges off. So that's what I'm going to do right quick. Hang on. So I got one of them off. Loosen this guy. See if this will come off. I don't know what that is. It's just crud in general. There's not really much to these things. What does that look like? 7 16th? Hang on. This little guy broke. Oops, there he goes. This little washer thing cracked. I don't think it's supposed to be cracked, but uh, we'll see. Actually, let me let me take this apart because the problem I've had before was this piece in here. And this, there it goes. There you go. That's what the problem was. It's a piece of rubber right there. Finally oozed out. See that chunk? And what's weird is that this little piece right here is stupid expensive. Almost because they know they can get you. So, basically, you just order this new piece right here, and that's it. And put it back in there, and we're all fixed up. So, you guys can do it yourselves. I don't have the part on me, so I'll have to go get it. And so, uh, I believe this has a part number on it. Yeah, right here, but I can't read it. Not because I can't read, but I can't see. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'll have to look into this, see is also if this is supposed to come apart or not. But uh, it's pretty straightforward repair. So hopefully this helps you guys. Here's this little piece. It was right in here. And the screws on there. That little baby just goes bad. And it's most of the time all it is. So, order this part number, slide it back in there, and you're good to go. Alright, guys, well, I got the part, and it has this little red or maroon looking rubber material. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's what was bad. So, this little puppy is like $25, $30. It's crazy. But either way, I got it fixed, or I bought a new one, until so now, you just put these guys together here, and put this little guy in here like this, and this is just a little cushion bumper, it sits against the bottom, now if you look, 
in here here's your high pressure line coming in from your tank and then your output to the high pressure gauge and so once you put this guy in here like that as your screw presses down on this here it comes off of this um, this area in here, oops sorry inside of this screw nut I'm going to clean that up real quick but that will let the air by the oxygen bypass into this chamber here into this chamber here and then out to your gauge and out to your oh sorry out to your uh, torch so pretty simple design very neat very simple and they work forever so I'll get some something to clean the inside of that should have had q-tips ready but I don't remember don't use any oil of any sort in this stuff no bueno I guess it was clean I don't know This had some some type of uh, grease or something. And just put that back on here. Now I know it says uh, no oils, no grease for um, oxygen. But this one, they wouldn't have used it if it wasn't safe. They're just like that. This guy goes sit right in there. Just like that. Put this guy back on there. it all right we'll help you dig it now I'll put these gauges back on little uh, tape on here be good to go see you guys